the caffeine like stimulant and diamond hydrogenate. Yo, what's up? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Allison G. Halpert, Mary C. Olmstead, and Richard J. Beninger, where they cover the substances acorotheophylline, diamond hydronate, diamond hydronine, and dimethyl sulfoxide, DMSO. And here's the full report details. Alright, so here's finally a report that focuses on acorotheophylline. This is the only study I could find where acorotheophylline was isolated and actively tested. And it's also the first report where we aren't covering human subjects, but rats. So far, I've always made sure to cover some type of human experience with a substance, but this one is just very difficult to isolate and isn't produced anywhere by itself outside of a professional setting. But still, of course, I wanted to show this in some way. So animals are the next best thing. Acorotheophylline is a caffeine-like substance to offset some of the negative side effects of the antihistamine effects of diphenhydramine. And while the effects do seem small, the study does give us insight into how much an effect it could be having. And also before starting this, I do want to say we are reformatting the research reports so from the actual study, we'll only have the abstract, and everything else will be briefly summarized for the main point of covering acorotheophylline. So with that, I'm sure you'll enjoy this. Without further ado, let's dive right into this. Abstract Diamond hydronate, DMH train names gravel and dramamine, is a compound of diphenhydramine, DP, and acorotheophylline in equal molar ratios. DMH has been reported to be abused by humans for its euphoric and hallucinogenic properties, but few studies have evaluated its reinforcing effects in animals. To evaluate the hypothesis that DMH and its constituents DP and acorotheophylline are rewarding in animals, Rats were tested for condition place preference, CPP. The paradigm consisted of pre-exposure, three 15-minute sessions of access to both sides of the chamber, conditioning, eight 30-minute pairings of one side with drug, four sessions, and on alternate days, the other side with vehicle, four sessions, and test phases, three 15-minute sessions of access to both sides of the chamber. Significant preferences for the drug pair vocation were found on test session 1 after conditioning was 60, but not 25, 40, or 50 mg per kilogram of DMH, and after conditioning with 37.8, but not 27, or 32.4 mg per kilogram of DP. No preference was found after conditioning with 23, 27.6, are 32.2 mg per kilogram of acorotheophylline. All three drugs stimulated locomotor activity during conditioning phases, and DMH and DP show synthesization over conditioning sessions. DMH doses that show synthesization, 25 and 40 mg per kilogram, were lower than the dose, 60 mg per kilogram, that produced a CPP, revealing a dissociation of locomotor stimulating versus rewarding effects. Results reveal that DMH and DP have rewarding properties. Although the molar equivalent dose, response curve for DP, appeared to be further to the right than that for DMH. Future investigations into the neurotransmitter systems modulating this effect are awaited. Alright, so in this study, it was tested whether acorotheophylline has rewarding effects using a method called the condition place preference or CPP paradigm. Here's how it works. Rats are given a drug in an area of a chamber. If they later prefer hanging out in that area, it's a sign that the drug feels rewarding to them. The researchers here tested acorotheophylline at doses of 23, 27.6, and 32.2 mg per kilogram, which this matches what's found in 50, 60, and 70 mg per kilogram of diamond hydronate which would be pretty strong doses, delirium doses. But after conditioning with these doses, the rats showed no preference for the area 
where they got achorotheophyllin. This suggests that on its own, achorotheophyllin doesn't have rewarding properties, at least not at these levels. So unlike diamond hydronate, it doesn't seem to create a feel-good association in rats. But it also tracked how it affects movement, or locomotor activity. During the conditioning, all three doses increased the rat's activity compared to when they just got a placebo. This does tell us that achorotheophyllin has stimulant effects, but unlike diamond hydronate, there was no sign that this stimulation grew stronger over time, suggesting synthesization. So while achorotheophyllin didn't spark a preference on its own, the study does suggest it might synergize with diphenhydramine in diamond hydronate to boost the effects. For example, a 60 mg per kilogram dose of diamond hydronate, which would be 32.4 mg per kilogram of diphenhydramine, and 27.6 mg per kilogram of achorotheophyllin, produced a rewarding effect in rats. But at the same doses on their own, diphenhydramine and achorotheophyllin didn't produce the same result. This suggests together they create a rewarding effect that neither has by itself. So overall with this, we see achorotheophyllin alone isn't rewarding. It won't make rats seek at all, but we do see that it does act as a stimulant, increasing activity, locomotor activity, and on top of that, it might enhance diphenhydramine's rewarding effects in diphenhydramine.